हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल विकास शाक्या आई वेलकम यू ऑल बैक ऑन माय चैनल वर्तेता लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ नेम मैंगलिंग एज यू नो दैट वी आर स्टडिंग अबाउट द फंक्शन ओवरलोडिंग सो यू नो दैट यू कैन क्रिएट डिफरेंट फंक्शन विद द सेम नेम द ओनली थिंग इज दैट यू नीड टू पास डिफरेंट नंबर ऑफ आर्ग्यूमेंट्स जस्ट लाइक दिस फंक्शन हैज वन आर्ग्यूमेंट this function has two arguments this function has again two arguments but the types are different you know that based on the return type the functions cannot be overloaded it's only on the type of argument based on which the functions can be overloaded let me just complete these functions because they must need to return something so which is an integer okay so how these functions names are allowed how these different function how the same num, same name functions with a different set of variables are allowed which are not allowed in c so the concept is name mangling how does it work basically basically name mangling generates the different unique names for different functions having the same name based on the number of arguments suppose this function is taking only one argument which is an integer integer takes four bytes and uh, integer it is presented by h in some of the compilers so it generates the name something like double underscore fun h which is the type of the arguments it has passed and at the rate number of bytes it takes in the argument so this is one example it's not like this is the strict rule this is one of the example that one of the compiler generates the mangled name of a function in this way it based on the compiler that how it generates the mangled name for a function similarly if it is taking two arguments int a and int b then both int takes eight bytes altogether so the name generated will be underscore fun h underscore uh, at the rate eight and similarly here it's it is taking one argument as integer the other argument as the float so for the float it is represented by m and the integer is presented by h and total it takes would be 4 plus 8 bytes 12 okay so based on this it is generating the variable name uh, sorry the function name it again it's 8 bytes so this is the example how it generates okay so there is no issue uh, after the name mangling is fine and uh, it has generated the different names for the same set of functions for the same name of functions so internally when you call this function then internally it uh, your compiler will call double underscore fun at the rate 4 this function will be called right so this way the unique names are generated for the same set of functions okay for the functions having the same name so this is the concept of name mangling using which the compiler generates the different names for the same name functions having the same name okay so this concept you must need to understand and this is mostly asked in the interview questions especially with the freshers and the second thing we have to discuss is like when you are calling a function which is overloaded and that too when we have used the reference variable okay so let me tell you through an example what i am talking about suppose you have written a function int fun which is taking one argument a and it is returning a into a and there is another function int fun int reference of a and again you are doing return a into a so there is no issue writing these two functions based on the reference because this uh, reference is a constant pointer so that is why uh, while name mangling it will generate a different name for this function so these two functions will have different names and writing the function in this manner where one uh, one uh, function is taking uh, argument as a simple integer and the second function is taking the argument as a reference passed to an integer both are fine if you compile this it will work fine there will be no issue then no issue will be no compiler issue will be presented okay now what we need to see what it do when we call it suppose i write something like int a is equal to 
then I write in B is equal to into reference of B is equal to A. Okay. Now if I call the function fun passing A, then it will give me an error. You can see that it is giving an error. It is saying that this call is ambiguous. It is not able to find which function to call, whether this function need to be called or this function need to be called. The reason is, suppose if I write something like int c is equal to b or c is equal to a. And for the time being, let us comment this. So all these statements are fine. There is no issue in these statements, in these assignation. So when you are passing integer a, then it is not able to understand whether it is calling this one or this one. Because here you can see that if you are passing a reference value to the b, b was the reference value, reference variable, and it is passed to the c, which is a normal integer. So this can also be called. But when we call c as a normal integer, then this is also fine. So it is not able to find out which version of the function need to be called. And that is why it is causing the issue. Okay, so you need to understand that if you have to uh, do this, then you need to take care that you pass it correctly. You don't rely on this, this kind of code. It will not work. Okay, so you need to very cautious, you need to be very cautious around this, that you cannot write the function in this manner. In this manner, you cannot overload the two functions. It will cause issues, ambiguity issues. So this you need to take care of. Okay, so that's it for today. In the next video, we will meet again. Till then, have a nice day and bye-bye.